we are meeting right before our Knowledge Bolide Weekly Hangout. And I'm introducing, the, the, the crew has no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to play a brand new game. The game is called, Is It a Meteorite? <laughs> oh, joy. No, 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 no. I'll take Mooners for five hundred. Right. <laughs> so here we go. And I literally just pulled up eBay, pulled up their, their meteorite and tactites category. We are, we are going to put by, let me see here, newly listed. So whatever was just newly listed. All right. Someone stop me when you see a fake. Uh, can I have a close up of the, that red one? Yeah, that yeah. second one looks brown already. Let me do that. Yeah, that one could just be a no, really I think it's, weathered. Is this just weathered or? Well, let's yeah. take a look at it. Weathered. Yeah, there's. Oh, no, that's good. That's, that's real. It's got, yeah. yeah, it's got yeah. That is 100% a meteorite. Very weathered. Just randomly, we're going to pick ending soonest to see what is up. Okay. Yeah. And ending soonest for just meteorites would uh, usually the first 12 things up are, are not even real. Yeah. Uh, oh, that, was right. that, that one could be right okay ajimanite is not a tectite it's, it's uh it's soil etched obsidian so yeah. that's a the arizona thing. ones i also i wonder if arizona is i think it's a legit meteorite but i've seen that seller before and i'm pretty sure it's not arizona yes. arizona nwa yep yep oh. nwa arizona uh, no, it doesn't say it doesn't say NWA, but you are correct. They, that's that's my thinking, though. Mike, yeah. I'm going to agree with you 100. percent I actually know of this seller, and these are meteorites, but they are definitely not Arizona meteorites. Yeah, and they are not they are not as advertised, so you could probably not believe anything this seller has to say. Yeah, but with a name like Desert Star Fossil, you got to you got to trust. <laughs> what is that? This um, right here? Yeah. Oh, that's that's over crap from making jewelry. Oh. Uh, oh, I'll look Oh, yeah, from from drilling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's gotcha. and, and if you look at it, it already has rust started by the time you get it from overseas, <laughs> you're not gonna, Yeah. You're not going to have yeah, anything. But you can things. grind that up and put it in epoxy. <laughs> Sorry, we're recording. You can grind that stuff up and put it in epoxy <laughs> and make these. Yeah, that's a fake. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah, fake. Absolutely. Is that one of the manufactured ones? New magnet. Uh, yeah. 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 Gray epoxy and. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they just put it together like means. fruit cake. JB yeah. Wells. <laughs> Fruitcake's a good. Oh, look here. There's another okay. one. Yeah. So this, another this, one. this shows you the kind of garbage that is being. And, and the thing about it is, like, I, it's sad because it's going to sell, but there's yeah. five, there's people bidding on this thing. No. Yeah. yeah. But there, I'm sure a lot of that is shell bidding. I hope so, because this is absolute garbage. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least it's only five bucks worth of garbage. Yeah. yeah, and it's already got a hole drilled in. Yeah, but they've been but it making has like 50 bucks on the bigger ones. They're no, no, this is good stuff. It has purple olivines. <laughs> <laughs> Those purple olivines will go just fine with my red and blue moldite. I like the, I like the candy <laughs> I don't know what you guys are ones. complaining about. Oh, that's terrible crap. That, that one. Wow. Yeah. That wow. one's there too. Wow. This is garbage. Uh, it's awful. There's uh, the now we're getting into the bricks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the same great. seller, too. Uh, yeah, if you're uh, ever looking at something and you don't know, obviously we know on this one, that's a mm -hmm. that's a brain dead one. But also no, they just, they just took it items. out of the mold. There's no saw marks or anything. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. absolute garbage. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Um, I don't know about rings. I'm not gonna, but it, the etch looks oh, right on it. Did the pattern? Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, the the pattern looks right whether it's etched in the metal or whether it's printed on. We can't really tell. Uh, that looks. Legit. Yeah. This is 100% legit. 
Yep. It is a palisite from Kenya, um, Serracho. You can see it's been covered like this right up here. You can see it's been covered with epoxy. But as I think Ben said on the last one, if you notice right here, see these striations, those are saw marks. Mm -hmm. So, and this one, you can actually see the, the crystals in the olivines. You can see the contrast in the two different metals right around that center. Olivine. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you see the different colored metals uh, contrasting each other. So those are the things that, that are good to look for. What, what about this one here? Looks good. Looks, yeah. Looks, yeah. looks like a photo the next from one Matt. doesn't. Yes. Yep. That is a yep. beautiful slice uh, of a Ukrite. Hmm. Now, let's see if we can find some other things. Oh. The next one. What, this the, one no, the, the, the Saracho, look at the, look at the edges of that. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's got a ton of epoxy on it. Yeah, and now it is, in my opinion, it is okay to purchase a meteorite that's been sealed in epoxy. Just know that you are buying all the imperfections, all the contamination and all the um, active erosion that's going on in that piece that is sealed. If you look yeah. at this one, it's been sealed, but it is rusting inside the seal so all they've done is they've gotten that corrosive and sealed it in so it can do its job and you can't stop it yeah this would yeah, you be, can't treat it now exactly this this would obviously be a horrible horrible waste of money to purchase something like this does anyone have an opinion on this one doubts about that one uh, it's either a really weathered NWA or or a concretion of some sort. No, yeah. that one is right. Yeah. As, as the the uh, admin of is it a meteorite? I probably shouldn't be playing, but uh, <laughs> that, that one actually is. Right. I said it's kind of overexposed, and when I looked down farther in the front, I could see some stuff going on there. Yeah, it, it's. It's not yeah. very clear um, yeah. as far as it looks like there's a window or something cut into there. Yeah, right there. Oops. Yeah. Right well, this here. This just goes to show yeah. you how important it is to have good um, photography skills. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. also to have photographs taken in daylight with yeah. done indoors and the color temperature is anybody's guess and you don't get true colors. And true textures uh, along with it. Mm -hmm. What do we see in this picture? Mm -hmm. Allison? I'll take I'll put you on the spot to put you off mute. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It looks definitely wind eroded. It's got crushed. Yes. Yeah. I would I would say that Allison, this would be a safe purchase as far as you you see the internal matrix you see yep. little bits of, of metal grains right there you see a, a few round ones there the mm -hmm. the crust is is well the out the exterior of the stone is more desert varnish than fusion crust you can mm -hmm. tell by its shininess and, and its single tonality mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, that one's right some crust under the varnish and really the only way yeah okay see so right at the top left you can see there's two little blebs yeah right there that's crust and then there's another one to the right and a little bit lower the only way to really know to to, to tell the difference ultimately between real crust and desert varnish is by looking at it under reflect across polarized light yeah so then we have more of the manufactured palisites more fake or pseudo -tactites. Wow green Libyan desert glass. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. Well, here we go. That's a, that's, but that's a precious metal. <laughs> Ferro nickel meteorite right. space, space rock meteor. Wow. Look at the pretty Whoa. colors. <laughs> so, just, oh. just to be fun, let's see what else this nutbag is selling. <laughs> mm, yeah. There's a oh. uh, glass nickel feral meteorite. Wow. What what are we looking at here? We all know it's not a meteorite. But the next question we always get asked is, okay, then what is it? 
Well, do we have any <laughs> idea what this is? Because I, well, I don't study word rocks. Sand and wind polished. <laughs> I find some iron stones that look kind of like that that are just native iron. They don't they don't have any nickel in them. I don't even think that's native iron. I got a feeling that that's probably hematite with uh, yeah, a ventifact crust on it. You know, yeah, ventifact uh, right. and, coating on it. And mm -hmm. if you look right in the center there, that fractured part has a brittle fracture sort of look to it. Right in here, yeah. That, yeah, right in there. Hmm. Yeah. So not all the time can we look at a, a simple picture and know mm -hmm. exactly whether it is or it isn't, but in totality. We understand that this is not a professional description. This is not a professional seller of, well, this is a known seller of fake meteorites. So therefore, anything they're offering is 100% your risk. Uh, oh, you were scrolling down. There was definitely a piece of uh, hematite. Mm -hmm. but this right That's here? hematite right there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely not something of interest to us whatsoever and easy to identify from a terrestrial point of view. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there is an absolute plethora of garbage out on, on eBay. Look at this, meteorite, <laughs> assault. What the is that? <laughs> actually a uh, uh, flint or some sort of SIO2. When I was a kid, we used to call that stuff slingshot ammo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like all of this is garbage. I haven't seen anything real in a while. Now, oh, oh, look yes, at that that's... natural hole. <laughs> yeah, let's take let's take a look at this because you'll see these uh, offered as well. And uh, I'll cool. be so bold to say most of them are real. Um, yeah, that, that, that looks right. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're they're cuttings from making jewelry or or yeah. spheres yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah, there's a a big disc that was cut out for some purpose, and this is all the waste. But what's what always gets me about it is you notice how they cut around all the inclusions. They don't want any of the awesome inclusions in their finished product, whether it's a a watch dial or anything like that. So they literally cut around the coolest part of the meteorites, in my opinion. A lot of times, like the Screever site, it'll blow out anyway. So they'll they'll just end up ruining it if they try to punch it. So yeah, they just avoid it because then they don't even have a blank they can use. Let yeah. me hate them, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can get pieces big enough that if you're willing to do the work, you can still salvage a decent piece, especially like Tover saying. They'll go around all the inclusions. So sometimes if you get the right piece of scrap from them, you get a, a decent piece that you can clean up and have a nice inclusion in it. Yeah, I mean that that one here, you could cut off where the cuts are, and you'd have a nice yeah, do a nice cut, cut here piece. and a cut here. Yeah, yeah, cut there. Yeah, and and that was much more palatable too, because you know, just looking at it, I know you're 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 digging for fakes. You know, they used to have that stuff, the scrap listed at like zero start bid, and you know, you were able to get elitai scrap like that for twenty cents, you know, mm -hmm. a gram. Now they're trying to do them at fixed start prices, so it's like. A dollar a gram even for the scrap but it's a dollar a gram for an okay piece so you know you might as well go with the okay piece at that point that's the same one wow. oh a magnet sticks to it though it has to be good <laughs> <laughs> well I'm, I'm glad you guys uh were able to spend a few minutes playing is this a meteorite <laughs> <laughs> so um i don't know if i'm gonna what i'm gonna do with that or not if i'm gonna put it on youtube or not but i figured i just capture that to show kind of what we go through what we look at how you need to be careful on ebay especially if you're if you're not as educated or experienced because even there's some there's some occasions where we can't really tell what we're looking at the pictures are mm -hmm. such non-diagnostic quality so I'll finish up. I'll finish uh, with a thought that I just released that 24 minute video on my YouTube channel. The thumbnail looks like this. 
So yeah, that's the first merit right there, the guys. So, um, so the thumbnail, um, but click on it and watch the 24 hour or 24 minute video. Watch it 24 hours <laughs> in a row. Yes. Um, but it's just absolute beautiful, stunning photography. And I actually had people comment like, this helps me. I, I know what to look for now, or I know, you know, what not to look for. So mm -hmm. I, I was pleased with it, with the feedback I received so far from it. Yeah. And the, the 53 gram Imolac that's in there with fusion crust is just absolutely stunning yeah that that one has left the building <laughs> has it, uh, i don't know if i would have could ever have sold that one of course there's a lot of things i well, could never sell the the, 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 fun, the final thought for this segment is it's actually kind of hilarious because that exact 53 gram imelec was called out by a sick individual suffering from rock hound fever as being not a meteorite <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, right you know there's all kinds of people out there but even when they have the most beautiful imalac in front of them with fusion crust and flow lines in the fusion crust they're like that's not a meteorite sorry can't help everyone <laughs> man.